What's up guys? I feel like I need to give you guys like a name so I can greet you guys every time I see you. Memo, memo fam, memo, memo crew. What's up memo crew? Let's, let's just try it for this video, I'll think about it. What's up memo crew, Nelson Dallas here in another memory tips video. And I figured in today's video we could watch me memorize something that I've never memorized before and currently don't know for the very first time live with you guys. The thing that we're gonna memorize today are, geez, I don't even know what they're called. It's like the alpha, okay, so it's called the NATO phonetic alphabet. And most of you already know the first three, alpha, bravo, charlie. Basically what it is, it's the alphabet, all 26 letters with a unique, unmistakable word to go with that letter. These are specific words so that you can discern exactly what letter is being talked about. Easy example is when you call your airline to try and change your flight, you give them your confirmation code and you sit there spelling out all of the letters. A as in Africa, B as in bar. You say all those things and you change them up. You don't even know what they are. You just make them up on the fly. But they, when they go through theirs, they have specific ones that they have learned that they go through. So I figured I don't know it. I want to know it. Some of you watching this video want to know it. So here's the video on how to do that. <coughs> now, like I said, I don't know this. I maybe know some of them. Like I said, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, maybe Zebra. I know some of them just from hearing it through media or listening and kind of making educated guesses. I don't know, I know some of them. So what's gonna happen here, right? First thing is I'm probably just gonna pull it up on the internet, read through it. It's just 26 words, right? A through Z. And I'm gonna see which ones I already know, maybe five to 10% I already know. Just get a feel of the list. Second step is I'm actually gonna figure out a strategy to encode those things. Now, I have an idea already because I know what the information is. It's a list of things related to the alphabet. So an easy way to do it would be to use a peg system, which is a video I did about a year ago on how to memorize a list using an alphabetic peg system, which was categorized by animals. Watch the video if you don't know what I'm talking about. Now, when I go through this, I'm gonna do it at Nelson's speed. <gasps> Sir, we've never gone that fast before. I don't know if the ship can take us. Okay, so you may not be able to follow along, but you have the beauty of sitting in front of your computer right now where you can press that little pause button and pause whenever you need to take a break and absorb the thing I just said. All right, let's get cozy here. I'm gonna pull up my list here. Here I am, the NATO phonetic alphabet. And uh, I guess this is it. I know it's been through iterations where the words have changed, but I guess this is the current one here. All right, so let's just have a read. Okay, A is Alpha, B is Bravo, C is Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, and Zulu. Okay, so it wasn't Zebra. <laughs> Let's see if I know any of them just from that one pass. Oh, this will be fun. I know the alphabet, so Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, Indigo, or India, Juliet, Lima, uh, Money, Nemo, Oscar, uh, Peru, no, I don't know. Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Whiskey. I know that one from whatever. T, whoops, Sierra, Tango, S-T-U. I don't know what the U was, W was Whiskey. X-Ray, no, Zulu, I forget what the Y was. That's not bad, I actually probably know most of it, so. Great, if I read that probably a couple more times, I'd have it. But if we wanted to make sure it was there, these are the images that I would probably come up with. Okay, so what I'm doing here first is devising what my alphabet peg system will be. So basically for all the letters of the alphabet, what is, as I'm doing this, I'm realizing it's kind of dumb to think like, okay, I have a list of things that are potentially alphabet pegs themselves, right? A through Z. And I'm trying to attach them to another image. Do I really have to do that? It seems a bit redundant. And, and this, again, this is, this is how it works, right? Like I didn't think about this strategy until now. And I, made sense to me to use an alphabet peg system to memorize this one, but it kind of already is its own. So what might be even better, and then we don't have to think of any images because we already know the alphabet and we know what each letter looks like. Why don't we attach a picture of the thing we're trying to memorize to the shape of the letter itself? That will be our anchor. So forget my list here that I was designing of alphabet pegs with food words. And let's just look at the actual letters themselves. All right, this is gonna be Nelson speed because I don't wanna spend 30 minutes memorizing this stuff. 
I just want to get it in my head and be done. And here we go. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna think alpha reminds me of like alfalfa. Um, so I'm gonna picture sprouts of alfalfa coming out of the A. So bravo, I think of applause. So the B, I can think of those two sides of the capital B, like hands clapping each other, bravo, okay. C is Charlie. I'm gonna think on the top of the curve of C is Charlie Chaplin doing his thing with his little round hat. Okay, Delta is gonna be a, a D. I'm gonna think of Delta Airlines. I'm gonna think of an airplane flying right through the D. Echo, I think of the, I look at the capital E and I imagine sound wave bouncing through, that's an echo. And then Foxtrot, um, the two little prongs sticking out of the capital F, I can imagine have hooves, like a Foxtrot, a horse Foxtrotting. Okay, Golf. The G almost looks like a, a, a golf club, that's easy. Hotel, actually the H reminds me of Hotel Tonight, which is an app that is the shape of an H. India, okay, so maybe the I itself is part of the Taj Mahal, the little spiral towers that are on the sides. Juliet, I have a hook there um, for the J. I mean, you can think of Romeo and Juliet, maybe she's hung up on the hook of that thing and Romeo's trying to save her. Okay, Kilo, we have the K. I'm gonna imagine a Kilo filling up one of those little crevices on the Kilo, fill it with cocaine, Kilo of cocaine. Lima, we have the L. That's like Lima. I'm gonna think of like a Lima bean ro rolling down the sides of the L. This would be faster if I wasn't talking. Okay, mic, uh, I'm gonna think of like a microphone. So I'm just tapping both tops of the M there, like mic check, mic check. November, we have the N, makes me think of November rain. So imagine this N is just dripping with water from the rain, November rain. Okay, Oscar, the Oscar the Grouch, he's poking his head out of the garbage can, which is the shape of an O. Oh, Papa, I'm gonna turn that P into my dad. So he's a stick figure with just a head, that's the P. Quebec, the Q looks like a balloon with like a little thing. So I'm gonna imagine being in Quebec, I'm holding a balloon walking around. Okay, Romeo, I don't know. I picture like Romeo, Shakespeare, some guy, a poet with like a weird kind of beret on. So I'm gonna imagine the R pulling it on top of my head. The two flaps there are the two legs of the R and then the plop on top is the hat. I don't know, that's gonna stick. Sierra, I'm gonna imagine the Sierra range, the mountain range, and maybe it like zigzags like an S, the, the mountains. Tango, so across the top of this T, I'm gonna imagine two people doing the tango. Okay, uniform, I'm gonna imagine stuffing some clothes, like a uniform inside of that little cavity of the U. Then Victor, a V shape saying they, they were victorious, V, 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 right? Then whiskey, I'm gonna imagine filling up the little crevices of the double, the W uh, with whiskey, some strong whiskey. X-ray, I'm gonna imagine like taking an X-ray of that X and seeing someone's bone fractured like an X or something. Then Yankee, ah, oh, Yankee, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna think of the Y, I'll picture, you know, kind of holding the Y upside down and using it like an old school Yankee bayonet kind of thing and the true Yankee doodle kind of thing. And then Zulu, I think of like an African tribe, maybe the women with the really long necks with those rings stretching the neck, maybe that's around the, the neck of the Z there. Okay, closing my computer and let me see if I can figure it out. A, we had Alf. Alpha, but that's Alpha, then B, Bravo, Charlie, that's Charlie Chaplin, Charlie, uh, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Cocaine, uh, JKL, Lima, um, on top of the M was the Mike, N was the November rain, um, Oscar, Oscar the Grouch, P was, oh, Papa, right? It looked like my dad. Papa, uh, Elemento P, Q was Quebec, R was Romeo with the funny hat, um, S was Sierra, T was Tango, uh, S-T-U, uniform, putting the uniform in there. V was Victor, victorious, uh, T-U-V-W was Whiskey, um, X was X-ray, Y was Yankee Doodle, Yankee, and then Z was Zulu. Nice, it's all there. All right, so let me see if I can say it really fast, or as fast as possible, okay. So Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, uh, Kilo, Lima, L, M, um, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Romeo, uh, Papa, Elemental Peak, oh, geez. Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, uh, 
Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, and Zulu. That's cool. Now, if you know the alphabet backwards, Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A, then you can do all of those backwards too, right? So you just have to go through the alphabet and say the word that you see there. Are you impressed? Yeah? Well, anyways, I hope that helped. Uh, maybe give you a little bit of insight into how my weird as brain works when I memorize stuff, and hopefully it helps you with some ideas on how to memorize this really quick. You probably know a lot of them already, and probably with three, four, five passes of just reading the list, you probably would have most of them except for a few, and then you could review the ones that you keep missing. But now I have it built into my head, so whenever I see the letter, I'm just gonna instinctively think of the weird image that I plopped on top of the shape of the actual capital letter. So do me a favor, anybody who watched this, anybody who tried this, time yourself. Tell me how long in the comments it took you to memorize this list. Would love to hear about it. That's all for this video, memory. No, that's all for this video, memo crew. Yeah, maybe it's growing on me a little bit. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe, share. You know the drill. I'm out. Mm -hmm.